In a show of unity and concern for their homeland, a group has come together to offer prayers for Nigeria, its citizens and its leadership with a call for enhanced youth empowerment. It underscored the deep-rooted connection that compels those living abroad to be active participants in the well-being and advancement of their home nation. We have actually lacked some vital components of empowerment on the aspect of youth. And for me, that uh, uh, vital uh, component that we have lost is simply education. If we look at what education should have done to our youth, that is what have brought forth you know, the different uh, characters we see being exhibited amongst our youth. What happens when you have information to what is right and to what is wrong? Somebody can choose what is right, another person can choose what is wrong. Our youth are learning from social media today because nobody to teach them. What are our institutions supposed to do, the higher institutions, even the primary and the tertiary uh, uh, institutions, what are they supposed to do? They're supposed to bring up our youth give them good characters, give them things that equip them to be able to face the future. But today it's lacking. You can form a sort of cooperative for uh, youth that are in businesses or in a particular trade and support them with uh, funding, you know. In that case, then we, uh, you have helped youth and the money that is realized from there. You know, after one session of youth have uh, benefited from that, the other coming ones will equally benefit. So it's not the buying way, but or buying the uh, and kids and giving to the people. We say you empower them. When if government is serious to empower the youth, there are no several, there are several ways you can empower the youth. That's why I started by giving you an example what we do in our countries in our own little way. We suggest to the government that uh, they can they should look for this kind of a people, people that is always has a large heart to bring people. People that are down, people that are in the middle, people that are up. You can see in this program today now, all rank of people are there. Both the low, both the medium, both the high, because of his attitude. If we can get people like him at the helm of the affairs of this nation, people that have vision, people that, uh, somebody that can, that will look at situations and tell you how it will get better tomorrow. And if you follow him, you will get there. He's a good businessman, and he thinks faster than we do. But I cannot end this vote of thanks without thanking someone. Uh, a special thanks goes to the most beautiful woman in the world. The woman that prepares my meal, the one of my bone, and the flesh of my flesh. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.